Now let me show you a few tools and panels in this amazing program. So first of all, I changed this name. I, you can not really change this name to anything you want. Just right click and go to rename and you can just call the file with, to whatever. And I'm just calling it our first file. So I'm just uh, clicking it and just going inside the file that we made earlier. And in here, starting on the left side, this will be where all the layers will exist. And on the top left side, we have different, uh, we have this menu which has different options where we can do different things. But I normally start off by making a frame and that frame you can see here on the right side, you can have different frames that you're working with. Let's say you're working with an iPhone 11 Pro. So you can click that and now it just created that, it created that um, artboard for you, that frame. And basically when you create that frame, you can see here on the left side, those, those will be your layers. So you can create various things that live in the layers. Like I'm just creating these random boxes and you can see that as I'm creating the boxes, the layers get created on the left side. If I want to scale the box, I can hold shift and just hold the bottom right side and I'm just moving it and it's scaling it in proportion. Or if I want to change the box size, I can move it up and down, left and right and it'll change. On the top here also I can, there's line, arrow, ellipse, polygon, star, and you can place images. So like, let's just do one for an example. So I can do like a line and I can just create lines. If I wanna, if I wanna have, if I just wanna create lines for, for, for my design, if I wanna create a wireframe or something like that, I can just create lines. Another way to, to do these is um, just do it with shortcuts. I can just hit L and then when I hit L, it lets me create uh, this line and then hit L again, it lets me create this line. And speaking of shortcuts, I can go here on the, on the bottom right side and hit the question mark and hit here keyboard shortcuts and literally I can see all the shortcuts that exist within this application which are very very helpful and makes my workflow way faster so for example one of the important shortcuts that I use I use space so if I hit space it does the hand key which if you use Photoshop or Illustrator or any other design programs that's like a pretty standard another shortcut that's very popular that I like using is doing command period which hides the menu so I'm hitting command period and you can see here the left and the right side and the top all get hidden so if I'm I just zoomed in I did command plus and I'm zooming in and I'm hitting command minus and zooming out. Another important thing that I like, so I'm a big fan of kind of dark mode and this application doesn't really have dark mode, but a little trick away around it. So I'm here and I have the frame selected right now. And if I deselect the frame, if I just click outside of it or I'm just clicking on the canvas, nothing selected. Notice the right side, it says background E5, 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 right here, E5, 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 and I can just click that and click any color I want and the background changes to to my color of preference and I typically like to change this color to this darker color which kind of emulates dark mode and this right side is, is kind of dynamic so whatever you choose let's say I choose this box and you can see that the box is uh, selected I can have various information for the box um, kind of the location where it's located I can add effects I can add strokes let's say I want to have a stroke on the box you notice I'm adding a stroke or I can add a drop shadow and affect that in whichever way I want, but it's kind of contextual, kind of dynamic. So depending on the item that I choose, this side changes. Quick little tip and something else I like doing, I have this frame selected and I'm coming here on the, on the corner radius and I like changing this to like something around like a 40, something like that and it kind of emulates what a mobile device might look like. And if you want to export something out, let's say these are icons or images or you want to export the whole file, you just basically choose the item that you want to export out and you just go here to export and you can just export out whichever format you want. 